Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Uh, please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So there you go. It's real nice and sunny outside today, but um, I'd rather be inside coding this game. And also, did they change the font here? I'm not 100% sure. It looks really, really different. I like it though. Uh, or it just might be that I didn't really pay attention last time. Uh, but here we are. There you go. So what I want to do in this video is basically work with the loading and stuff. But I'm just going to start off by kind of... I don't like the button placement thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the Y portion of this. So just go ahead and remove this portion. Because it doesn't really work. The text, the text uh, bounding box is weird. Uh, might just be I'm stupid and I don't know how to how to work it. But I'll try to... Try to figure it out. But until then, just remove the Y portion. And then we'll kind of manually select the Y size of the whole thing. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. Because the buttons aren't really nicely clickable and stuff. So I don't really like that. But we'll keep that. And then we're going to go ahead into... For example, where do we have a lot of buttons? Main menu state. Um, I'd already tried this out before. So... Pretty much just going to set it to a number I know is pretty good. So 65 seemed to be good. Not 56, 65. And to show you, I'm pretty much just going to set the 220 here. Also, I'm going to do 65 on the all of these buttons, actually. 65. 65. Because we have this character size 50. It seems to be good. 65 seems to be good with this character size. Uh, we'll keep the width. You can do whatever you want with the width. doesn't really matter. Um, so let's just run this. I just want to see if it works. And then we're going to start adding things to tile and so on. So, so that looks a little better if we, ha if we would have that as a button. Right? Uh, so I'm just going to remove the opacities here. So that looks nicer. It's going to be a little more clickable. So let's go ahead and close main menu state. Let's go into uh, the game state.cpp. And we're going to go to init pause menu buttons. All right, P menu, blah, blah, blah. Init pause menu. Where are you? Init pause menu right here. Add button. Uh, P menu, add button. So I'm just going to close that. I'm going to go into P menu, pause menu. And I'm going to go ahead into add button right here. This is where we have the size 50. All right, width and the height. Width is going to be 60, or the height is going to be 65 here. So if we run this and try it one more time, we shall see that it should work. Hopefully it should work. Uh, now that that feels a lot better too. That feels a lot nicer, like where you, where the button is. All right, let's go into, let's go to, oh wait, this, uh, this isn't correct. Well, here's the pause menu. All right, that feels a lot nicer. And uh, the same thing with the editor, I hope. Yeah, that feels a lot nicer here. That looks weird. Um, but we need to kind of shorten that down and set a Y offset. But we'll do that later. Isn't really the most important thing right now. At least as long as they're nicely clickable, I'm happy. So it doesn't really matter for now. You can you can play with that if you want. So that works now. The settings menu as well. So sorry about this. You know we gotta do stuff. Gotta do all this important stuff um, before we get going with all the other important stuff. So just go ahead and do the back and apply. Just do that. 65 to those and you should be good to go now. Don't worry That will work. We don't need to run it again Close everything down and let's open up tile map again All right, and we need to open up tile as well here um, Because now we're going to I, I said in the last video we would uh, Overload the operator the output operator, but uh, you know eh, It's okay. I, I usually I don't like doing that. I don't like using that O stream shit I, I, I usually like just making my own uh, thing that returns a CD string that I can just uh, print out. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a void, no, const std string get as string. Let's just call that get as string, and then we'll do a const here as well, and and that, and this is just gonna return the tile. As a string now I'm waiting for this to stop bugging the hell out so I can define it there you go going the lazy way always lazy way or the highway 
So once you do that, boom, you're down here. So you got your little return statement thing going. And we're going to have to do, whoa, 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 what did I do, bro? The world just went under Solution Explorer. There you go. Okay. So what I want to do in here is I want to add another uh, short unsigned type. I just want to call it type. We could just say short here because it's it's a little, a little better. So short. Um... And this will be the tile type. Now we'll have a bunch of different things in tile. Uh, we'll see here how we're storing them. So let's go to save to here, format. So grid position XY, texture rectangle XY, and then the type. So this is just for the example right now. Type might be, um, hey, what, what might it be? Damaging, uh, disappearing type where you kind of disappears. If you're making a side scroll, it disappears after a while and you fall through. It could be another type, uh, bouncy type, uh, whatever the hell. In our case, it might be a lava slowing, uh, speed up, whatever the hell you want, you can do it. But we'll have type here, all right? And then we'll make a enum here, uh, tile types, all right? We'll just call it tile types and we'll say um, default zero and then we'll say um i don't know damaging and then so on and so on so we'll have a bunch of different tile types here um this is nice all right this is nice tile type and then we want a boolean for collision as well if it's colliding boolean collision is collision enabled or not that's a good thing to have so let's go to tile cpp here and we're just going to set all of these to let's see we needed that though but that's that's cool this collision equals false this type equals zero we'll say minus one uh because that will give it or we'll just say zero you know what just say zero it doesn't matter and then we'll just copy paste these all right and we're going to put them uh, below shape right here. And when we make our tile type, it's going to be the positioning. Um, hmm. Hmm. So when we save this, oh, sorry about that. When we save this, hmm. Okay. You know what? Doesn't matter. We can use the indices from the tile map to see what the grid position is so we don't need to worry about that uh, texture fine setting the texture the intrict everything is saved into shape so we don't need to worry about that now let's just go ahead and do here bool uh, collision and then a uh, false and then type short type it equals uh, tile types default. So I use this tile types colon colon. You don't need to do that, but sometimes it bugs out for you guys in um, in code blocks and stuff. So so that's why I have this. And this is just a default way of making the a tile. I'd say I like default values there. Might want to remove them later. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but for now, we'll keep them. So there you go. Tile uh, looks fine looks good and then we'll just say collision here and then type here okay now we can make a tile using these types now the tile maps probably gonna complain soon no it won't since we have default values so it won't do that that's that's good uh, let's go back to tile and let's start working on this two string so I want to return two string and we use stdafx because yeah we should have string stream in there yeah, we do have string stream in there. So I'm just going to create a std string stream ss. And then I'm just going to say ss. And I put all of these things in there. All right. So depending on the way we want it, <coughs> excuse me. So the grid position, texture rectangle, and the type uh, collision and type is the way to go. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to say the grid position from outside. And I'm just going to do this shape dot get global, but no, get texture rect. 
texture rect dot x no dot left give it a space in there and then we'll do the oh whoops what am i doing there you go top so that's the x and the y uh, once you do that we need another space then it wanted the collision so this collision and i will convert that into a a string type thing itself uh, for the things that don't that's well that's why we're using string stream so we don't have to do two string of shit so there you go this uh type and we're just gonna put type in there and we're gonna end it with a space all right just end it with a space uh, or should we should we lay, leave the spacing and stuff for the outside so let's just do that let's let all that stuff happen in the outside or we could put it at the start here i'm not 100 percent sure because that bugs the space bugs with the input uh, so we need to make sure there's no extra space at the end there otherwise it won't notice it as the end of the file after the last tile so you need to remember that be really careful with where the spaces are because spaces um kind of govern govern i'm sorry govern how how uh the input c in and all these things work so there you go we're just putting all this stuff into the string stream and we're returning this uh, the string stream now all we have to do in tile map now is we need to just make sure that we do out file this and then we do wait we can just remove all this let's uncomment that and then say because since it's a pointer get a string and we'll do that and now we need to make sure where all the spaces are so that's going to be a new line we're going to make sure we have spaces at the end here um so there you go all right, it will be an extra space at the end there, which we don't want. So we need to kind of look for that. Um, hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. If, <clears throat> hmm. Uh, 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 uh. well you know what for now it doesn't matter we'll 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 leave that let's comment it comment it out uh make sure this last space is not saved and i'll just make sure i remember to fix that uh but i just want to check before the we need to end the video which we need to do now pretty much is that this works all right that this actually prints out all of my tiles the way i want them to so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna run it and what's going to happen is that since we have the default values for, let's just see what happened here. The default values for collision and stuff. Uh, redefinition. Oh, sorry about that. Well, where do we want to have the... Uh, hmm. I usually, I don't know where I like to have them. In the H file or CPP file. doesn't matter. You choose. Wait, what happened now? Oh, no. I need to remove these from the... Oh, God damn it. Okay, there we go. I don't know where I like to have the default values. You know, CPP is a little easier because that's where you put all the code. But let's go into editor. Uh, let's make a few tiles here, a little different here, blah, blah, blah. Make some of these, make some of these. Let's remove that. Let's save that. Crashed. Crashed. Read access violation. This was a null pointer. Okay, so the problem was... The problem was this, so it can be a null pointer. So uh, make sure that this check is here. Otherwise, it want, might try to do all this shit, even though it's it's a null pointer. So you don't want that. Uh, let's run it again. Let's see what happens. Editor, put all these things in here. Sorry about the longer shit here, uh, longer video. What am I doing? I want some of these as well. Okay, so save that. It's gonna it's gonna just save that for me, right? Okay, quit, quit. Um, now let's see if it worked. So go into your file, find your, this one. I guess it's this one, SLMP, it should be. Open with sublime text or whatever you want. So, okay, so there you go. You got your shit. You got your tiles. 
and you'll see that there is a final line here which yeah which might mess stuff up but don't worry too much about it right now so this would be the texture rectangles all right so you can see some of these have a hundred hundred i guess i'm saying i'm seeing some stuff here but there you go that's pretty much how that works and you have all your tiles and everything saved so good next video we'll probably try to fix that this little issue here and try to add some more stuff to this whole process right so uh try to check out collisions and stuff like that as well soon so it'll be pretty fun we got a lot of things to do sometimes i'm not sure what i'm going to focus on but we'll see it's all random uh, but hopefully you find it find it useful and helpful but thank you so much for watching take care keep working hard and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye